It's a shame SK f has fallen off a little bit from the hot start of the season. They were doing really well at the beginning. I discovered Gunship from your Renegades trailer. Have you kept up with them? I have not. Are they still good? If I'm not mistaken, I think SK will see the, the yeah. Vladimir, maybe. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Perfect. Would be, would be a good time to stack the champion, I think. I mean, this has been the res like Broken Blade's response was into the Jax. Irrelevant is going to first pick the Jax here, uh, considering it's been banned against them quite a few times. All right, playing Cassante instead. Melio. Nope, Renata. Okay. Very hard to dive into Renata because even even though you're playing Vine to Zaya, you can just kind of play like a, a more tentative engage tool and kind of if someone oversteps, you engage. I imagine we'll just see the Rel for Isma again, right? He's been going to that every single time. Five seconds. It could be it's scary. <laughs> they want him to play it. Look. <laughs> so Niski's obviously thinking about this already in draft. And with Isma, How is this a Tristana in mid then? For the Rel anymore. That matchup is not really that great, but they do need something that can kind of fight uh, in their in their. This is just a anti, you know, counter engage composition. I think they see Rakan and Jax, and they're thinking, "Hey, we can kite this out with Renata, Cassante, and Lilia." very hard matchup into Lilia, actually, but the champ is strong right now, and maybe that's enough for Isma to lock it in. And it is. Don't think you can deny the Tristana. Is there a pick here that you could pick into Tristana? The back comp champ is cooked mid jungle, but it's capped. So you're spooky on the Oh, it's it's. 80 LeBlanc. Okay. We're still we're still going with that. We're still going with that. LeBlanc. Okay. Wow, they go for the double AP mid jungle, but it's cap so. You are spooky on LeBlanc. It's probably 80 LeBlanc if knowing no It's it's definitely 80 LeBlanc. Okay, what are we looking at here in the first 15 minutes? A bunch of mid game skirmishing really popping off once Rakan and Zaya can get through that lane phase and play with uh play mm -hmm. with Isma and link up. I think the side of SK they just have a well rounded kind of front yeah. to back comp. Every lane can kind of fend for, fend for themselves. And they yeah, this is pretty standard. This is a very, uh, very good composition for a lot of different ways to play the game. You have multiple forms of engage. You have flank options, right, with the, the jacks coming in. Um, this composition is going to be much more about splitting with an AD LeBlanc. Skirmishing and, and kind of kiting backwards. Every time I've been on cast. They were a surprise for me and for many others. They've come out of the woodwork and they've looked absolutely fantastic with Isma's debut split with his rookie year on the cards. Only last year, I know it wasn't me, but you guys as well. Now in his second year in the LEC. It's crazy. It's like watching a mirror image play itself out as well. Isma versus Yike. G2 versus SK. Cap's dad still here, still going strong. Top two. And look for G2, a win here as well. Could even go beyond. Times, but, uh, I think Gizmo's kind of works well as their main engage tool, so I'm curious to see here how he does play. Has obviously played the Zinzel already before, but I definitely think he's kind of been the one at the forefront of leading the charge, playing aggressive, having the team gather around him. I think you can still do that with this comp, but certainly the engage tools on SK aren't as easy to execute. It's like, hey, Rakan going in, hoping that Isma can get a knock up. Maybe you're looking at Niski getting a shuffle or something along those lines, but. I'm curious how, when they go for the invades, if they will be as successful as they usually are without Isma providing that go button that he usually does. I think we also got to watch again, as Aragon said on desk, Yikes first 15 minutes, how does he secure these camps safely without Isma getting in his face? And I think you can say Isma Niski as well, right? Because this jungle mid duo, despite what we're seeing on Azir, which we know takes time, has been really successful for SK. I mean, Niski has been one of the most impressive mid laners Split. Isma for me. I mean, last last game, especially on his Maokai, um, getting in the fight like that was just abusive. <laughs> I'm gonna quote the game so I don't get it wrong. It was against KC, and it was watching Bo just get bullied out by this Maokai. I mean, Bo definitely responded well by like playing around topside and getting Cabo shot ahead. So a little bit of an upset yesterday for SK coming in off of losing to Carmen Corp, which is not and what people expected. I have to correct myself. Yeah. It was against Vitality, of course, because <laughs> that was the success, right, for Isma. Yesterday, not the same story up against KC. You're right, because that was a win. KC started winning all of a sudden, <laughs> and things changed. Uh, hence why SK 5 and 3. I mean, again, it was such a successful start. The only team undefeated in week number one as they beat down Fnatic. But things evened out a little bit. Now against G2, it's going to be a big task. Now, Dagda already starting down. Hit level 2. You push out. Mickey going to get launched up, but X kicks already out of range. Dos goes for the engage, but 
Han Summer has the range here, and it's still a successful trade for the 2v2 of G2. Yeah, but at the W for Exa Kick, um, it's kind of hard to close the distance there. You don't get the move speed towards Champion, so True. I think Dust going a little bit too far forward means it takes a bit of damage back, but it means Hans and Mickey have this control over bot side, which is why it makes it easier for Yike to pick up those camps on the bottom end without having to worry about Xin Zhao looking for the invades. I think it'll be off of the next couple of resets where we really start to see this bot lane come alive, because once you start to hit, like, double longsword in the bottom lane for Exa Kick, and you've got a couple of um, points in towards your E, you can really start to trade pretty effectively, and it becomes more a case of Mickey trying to prevent DOS from finding the engages that was set up for Exa Kick and DOS to take over the bottom lane. Yeah, Mickey trading the top lane as well. Irrelevant just pushing out, as you'd expect at the Jax. I mean, this was left open. There's a lot of respect for Irrelevant's Jax. Which we'll talk Interesting, about you don't see a level 3 Lilia dive very often. Good patience there. Wow, you never see this really. With Lilia. Hansam immediately ghosts, knock up. Can't get bailout. But the bailout does its job there, absorbing turret shots, right? It's interesting that the turret doesn't re-aggro here. Like Han Sama actually hits, but gets right out of turret range, and then they don't re-aggro turret till right there. Yeah, if Hans gets, if uh, if Mickey X gets the bailout here, you know it's oh, close. Yeah, that's. It's crazy that the, it actually drops that turret aggro right there. The turret re aggroing onto the wave is very significant there. Before the kill goes down on two Exekick, so it doesn't get the revive, but still, big win for the bot lane of G2. G2 coaching stuff always just like, well, okay then, you know, <laughs> always just going with it. If you like with this team, that's what you have to do is Isma going with the top side for now. It's irrelevant, and Mickey, Mickey made the roam up, but can he do anything for BB? Up in the top side, he's gonna get a revive if he gets this, but he does! Mickey's roam is with the top side for now. It's Mickey's top side roams all of last year were. We're so good. And the bailout, damn. The revive coming in clutch to handshake to toss Isma and get back underneath that tower. And it's SK who are falling behind in the early games G2. This is a much cleaner early game than G2 what traditionally have seen. And this is what made one of the things that made Mickey X so good last year was just getting finding these timings for these top lane roams in particular. Bailout so powerful in those situations.
Job's gonna be done in jungle as Han Summer gets a double root on the 2v2. The engage not working out. Hans keeps hitting away. Cleanse already down. Grabbing him gets the slow. They know that Isma's on the top side, or at least now they definitely do. Mickey and Han Summer have done the damage here and guess who's back again. Yeah, and Vernum gonna be pushed. Man, it's, so, uh, it's so unusual to see these Lilia dives. This ain't no C9 dive. The wave is set up. The floor, <laughs> three versus two. Oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. gives over another kill. As you said, red and white, and everything's going to be all right. Dos flashes over the wall, but who's going Hans going Hans for it? Hans giving the bailout, gives him the attack speed. <laughs> Dos just waiting for the cooldowns, but he yep. can't get it. Hans is now 3 0 on 1. And SK. Lexley, thank you for your tier 1 subscription. I appreciate it. Absolutely destroying Exekick and Doss on this bottom lane. What are you supposed to do? Like, Niski's just chilling in mid. Ismo was like, hang on, I made one a gank attempt top, and suddenly my bot lane is three kills down. And it's just so Gets a double knockup again. But nobody's taken aggro yet. Mickey then takes aggro, but Exekick's already dead. Deserves it. Compliment Han Sama. I right now want to compliment Mickey. 100% kill participation because he made that roam top. Ingenious roam that keeps Broken Blade alive and withstands the lane a little bit further where irrelevant... Uh -oh. oh, gets to sleep. What are you seeing? Oh, lilting lullaby. Dagger was averting my eyes. Right into the hang shake. Another kill for Han Sama. They're, they're just running away with this one. The game throughout this split has been so messy. This is a breath of fresh air. This is G2 of old, isn't it? Yeah, G2 kind of saying that, you know, the uh, stories of my death have been greatly exaggerated with this one. Oh, yeah. because, uh, they are absolutely... Oh, Doss. Well, hang Let's on a minute. Win. Wait, wait, Dagger. There's don't, a flash away. You don't win. The oh, that oh, was wide. That was indeed wide. It was a goal post there, and Hunt Summer hits in the middle, but still. I mean, G2 at the end of the day, they're still so far ahead. It doesn't matter. They're 3,000 gold ahead at eight minutes in. They've just picked up an Infernal Dragon. The only thing they're missing out on are Grubs. I mean, the three of them already went to Isma with all the plays were happening around this bottom side, but I think you're more than happy. Uh, yeah, it's worth the trade in bot side just to get the pressure because the thing is, grubs are kind of irrelevant if you just keep pressure the entire game because you're never going to have a chance as the enemy team to play around the grubs whatsoever. In that side lane matchup, so I think you're going to be pretty alright as Niski going toe to toe with Caps. Chain is there. There's no ignite. Remember, Caps wow. one hit away from dying. Niski can't secure it. He's got TP. No, he doesn't. Excuse me. Cap's going to have to walk back. Yeah, but Niski doing a nice job in mid. Kind of needs to get control over this matchup. Look, it's not an easy matchup to do so, but having that control will set up Isma a little bit better. But Yike, just making sure Broken Blade can push in this top tower. Help me, Obi-Wan Niski. You're my only <laughs> hope. <laughs> You're right, because Yike is now up here. Onto Irrelevant. There's no flip back. He's waiting. That back could be cancelled. Uh, over the wall. Oh, take him to him. It's feeding time. Irrelevant now sees him there. Yike gets delivered. Broken Blade. Future Uber driver, maybe. <laughs> Broken Blade had the high ground. <laughs> and he brought him to... Irrelevant. Yike is now up here. Onto Irrelevant. There's no flip back. He's waiting. That back could be cancelled. Uh, over the wall. Oh, take him <laughs> to him. It's feeding time. Irrelevant now sees him It's very well played by Broken Blade. That's so cute, actually. <laughs> so, he, I think he intentionally misses that Q, baits this out, baits out the stun, goes unstoppable, so while he's stunned, moves him over to the wall, takes one tower shot, here's the second tower shot, while he's ulted, knowing that Yike is right here. That's a really nice bait by Broken Blade. It's very well played. He won the mind games, guys. <laughs> and he brought him to the low ground. He made sure that he was going to be able to pick up the kill on Irrelevant. Isma trying to respond, but G2, they're already aware. And Sam and Mickey, they backed away. And even Caps is starting to roam down as well, making sure they can cover this. Han Summer has Inferno. There's a lot of wave clear there. And as the wave is just thinned out immediately, Doss is at half HP already. Has to get out of there. Can't risk getting caught. I mean, it's already a four kill of Belios this early on. Back gonna get cancelled, Mickey. Poking in. It's cancelled. Oh no. Handshake there as well. Exekick. Ulti, I believe, is available. There's the ignite. The root comes through. Hunt Summer kites away. Dos saves. Oh, no. oh my god, are they gonna kill each other? Almost killing each other, but Dos wasn't affected. Isma here to cover. I mean, it's not gonna be enough though. You're still gonna get this turf play for yourselves, though. Hans taking a little bit of damage there. How's he in front of him? 
I wasn't sure if they wanted to bring Yike down here, maybe even protecting Nisma underneath the turret, but they're going to be totally fine. I mean, Nisma kind of standing there just to collect the wave experience, but there's not much you can do to stop what Han Sam and Mickey have started. True. It's a 1200 gold. There's Brand Jungle in the LPL, kind of cool. I mean, the Brand Jungle has been everywhere, man. It's very strong right now. Willer played it against Furex. Um, this could be one of the cleanest early games of the season so far from Or against Breon, rather. He's on Fear X. Uh, we've seen Canyon play it in LCK now. <laughs> and seeing this is like, as, a, as an international viewer, this is why, uh, as an LPL cast, I was always scared of G2, because I'm like, these guys, like, they can be as good as, like, the FPXs and the IG. Very good at farming. Huge amounts of, like, mid and late game damage. Very good early uh, early damage and skirmishing on invades, too. Jun playing it was so good when he played it into, uh, BLG played it into top. I'm surprised Lilia hasn't been picked as much, so I think there's a couple factors here. She's not, I don't think she's as good, she's definitely not as good as Maokai, and like probably not as good as Brand in a lot of situations, and then also the fact that Milio is very present in the meta just cucks Lilia so hard. Also, she's hard countered by Jarvan. Like Jarvan shits on her. So I think it's hard to pick Lilia blind. Cap's trying to fake it out. There's the real one. The root coming back in auto there. Doss trying to get the kill. He succeeds a second one over to SK while Mickey's helping Yike take the grubs. But with that kill of the mid laner down, it's the real one. At the moment, I think they're just happy as G2 to keep the pressure off this Caps. Well, flashes away, but he shoved back anyway. X kick has made the roam. Caps trying to fake it out. There's the real one. The root coming back in auto there. Doss trying to get the kill. He succeeds a second one over to SK while Mickey's helping Yike take the grubs. But with that kill, the mid laner down. Brand Jungle started in EU. Handle in this game to get a bigger Okay. Yes, I mean, what's your point? I'm just saying where it's been played. So there's the recess. Now Doss trying to play into the pit. Mickey. I don't think you really want to step forward here. Exekick is kind of caught between taking this blade to the push in the top side and coming in towards this fight. Miski getting played to mid, so SK. It, it, it's, it has like a 54% win rate, highest of any jungler in Korean, like Diamond Plus solo queue right now. It's very strong. Not even a little stitious. Not even a little stitious. It's just caps. You, just get, you get the best in, sometimes you get the worst in. That's why we love caps. <laughs> I mean, big win coming through for SK. They get five of the groups. They don't manage to finish off. The a very prevalent the all over the world in solo queue right now. For Dragon, which I think is the correct call, but again, Niski, huge. Nash's tooth now completed. He's the only person. But Asian leagues are the ones who are actually playing it professionally. Mythics are gone. Yeah, but uh, okay. it's going to be uh, well. Actually, I was going to say the two, the jungle and AD carry, but actually, Static Shiv now completed here for Caps as well. So yep. at least you got a few uh, opportunities here for G2 to try and play around in this fight, which it kind of feels like it is going to end up being as SK starting to move down towards the spot side, spotting out where Mickey's going to be in the tri -brush. I want to see how top lane gets involved in the fight, if at all. Irrelevant pops the ulti Grandmaster at arms. This young top lane talent now trying to go up against BB is a big ask, but he's done so well in the matchup as you'd expect. A lot of vision down here for G2, though. They're well aware that Niski's moving, and it looks like maybe Yike trying to see if he can get in. Hans Amman, Mickey going to try and zone Exekick and Doss away from Dragon. And yeah, I think just with Caps having that slight move from mid, I'm not really sure where Yike is. SK are going to completely give that up, even having Nism on the reset. Also, you know that the 2v2 or G2 is just still so strong. Niski going to get rooted up in a second. This time, Caps not going to get caught unaware. Yike picks up the Dragon. That's two here for G2 in the early game. Cloud Rift again for a Lilia. Oh, ooh la la. How nice is it when you put people to sleep and instead <laughs> you just get the caffeine to go? Yeah, that's it's crazy good on Lilia. Cloud Soul. BB was walking down, but decides instead to back away. Cheeky. Second chain comes out. Niski runs on in. Again, the same place this happened before. <laughs> but it won't follow through with the Emperor. Gab's that was really struggling here. Bot lane has had all the resources, though. Hansam is so far ahead. find the tools to deal with them. And we already kind of talked about the threat for the backline. Is it massive this game? Yes, you've got Doss you can try and go in. Isma could have an angle of attack, but realistically, it's like kind of relevant. <laughs> Four ball. Can I donate on YouTube? Not yet. I haven't set up monetization, but yeah. I mean, 
Uh, maybe we'll do that at some point. Thank you for the nice, you know, the nice thoughts at the very least. I'm just trying you streaming on YouTube at the same time right now just to see how it works. Did it did it once at Worlds, but not a whole lot. So I figured I'd try and experiment with that a little bit as well. Maybe get onto the TikTok at some point in time. Try to dodge that out. Yeah, they can actually just move entirely into topside now, ward it up. He needs to try and get out of here. And set up for the next Drake. Play this fight out. There's flash available. Also, the ulti DOS is coming up to support. G2 are pulling away from it. Not going to happen in the end. I think that's good. It's funny you mentioned the TikTok stuff. Studio TikTok, all the low lights gonna get the TikTok treatment with background music on slow and reverb as some players does a dumb play. Look, you know, I've got a YouTube manager now. He wants me to, to have dumb TikTok shit, so I guess we're gonna have that at some point, guys. I guess we're gonna have that at some point. <laughs> Opportunity for you to try and find a gank on the bot side, and so long it's going to be incredibly tough. And irrelevant is still going to be fine in the one v one versus BB. That's why we're kind of seeing hands and Mickey moving up here. They really want to get this last terror down, so then they can use that mid priority that you should get a hands and Mickey on the push using the advantage they have to start to leave a bunch of vision control down and make it hard for SK to contest you on the map. So more importantly, just get <laughs> I don't get TikTok. Is this what it feels like to be old? Absolutely, guys. I'm I'm in that boat too. <laughs> Although I, I will say, like, TikTok is pretty cool because there's so many people on TikTok that you can kind of get content for anything. Like history content, cooking content. So it really is what you make of it. There's a lot of good content on there. Not just for Zoomers. But G2 for a Lilia is good enough for me. Yeah, I think it's again, it's just hard for SK to What the fuck is that crab doing? <laughs> what what's going on here? And again, cloud base stats. But G2 for a Lilia is good enough for me. Yeah, I think it's again, it's just hard for SK to try and respond to us. This is where I am curious to see what G2 do. Because um, traditionally, what G they are going to go for dragon, but like traditionally they've been like, hey, we get two early dragons, we're going to go for plays on side lanes instead and not go for the third dragon. But with the way they're set up, it definitely feels like they're going to try and well, maybe find execute actually. You know, ulti pulled out just simply with a handshake. Hans Summer running into oh my god the damage as he oh Hans him. oh man but, like, traditionally they've been like, hey, feels hey, execute can't even walk up to a wave, man. Feels so bad. Sees this coming in. Has to just go ahead and ult over the handshake. He's just in the middle of a bazillion chakrams, and that's it. How is Execute seen right there? He flashed into the pink ward brush. Is that what the pause is about? Oh, Lilia E, is that what did it? Let me see. 
we're going to go for plays on side lanes instead and not go for the third dragon. But with the way they're set up, it definitely feels like they're going to try and oh, maybe find execute actually. You know, ulti pulled out just simply with a handshake. Han Summer running into. Oh my god. Oh, okay. He does get hit by it. He does get hit by it. So the the ball hit here and exploded towards him. So that's right. Lilia R gives vision. Okay, that's right. Thanks, guys. I think that's probably what the pause is about, though, is he's confused about how he was seen. It explodes out in a cone. Aren't you get it did explode out in a cone, yeah, as it hit the wall. The Lilia bowling ball works. I don't know what the actual name for it is. But basically when it hits something. Swirl seed. Swirl seed. Thank you. It explodes out in a cone beyond yes. when it first hits. Yep. And when, even when it hits terrain, it does the exact same animation. So that's, I think, what just barely clipped Exekick. Yeah, so you can see it on him. What he was investigating there was, was it actually just a random hit that ended up connecting with them? Yeah. Or was it actually the, uh, the swirl seed that came through? So... Yeah, I think Darius. I've already top kick. I've been slagged. Wanted his SK a bit complete. It was kind of your that top three. That's why we can't. Yeah, yeah above. Right? And it's best. And you can work together. It makes sense that Lilia R would give you vision, though, so that you actually can see the targets. You know, because the thing about R is the, it only has value if you know if you know where the target is going to be when they're slept. So it makes sense to me that you would have to have that visibility. I think it's again, it's just hard for S. We're going to go for plays on side lanes instead. Damage as he flashes. Zyra Hans matches him. So it wasn't Lilia R, guys. It was Swirl Seed that gives you the, the vision. Because you have to see that it's. It, it, you have to see that it hits in order to press R. Right? And he couldn't see the swirl seed because it hit him. It was it hit him from like the side, from behind the terrain, and it was the cone that shot out from it. Kind of these playmaker champs, which can actually have. But if you didn't see what you connected with, you couldn't hit R. I think that's the logic behind that giving you. Looking for the lila because I think that's the bug. Is on the wall. Oh, it does just hit the corner of the wall. That I mean, makes sense though. That is a bit unlucky. His question mark pinging the bug. If this was solo queue, I think it would not end with a question mark only, that's for sure. Yeah. But that particles. would be a jungle diff. The particles disappeared into the wall, right? Yeah. So he's question marking it. All right, we'll see what the casters think about this or what they want to say about this game. Back to you guys. Uh, the game will resume shortly. Okay, thank you very much to the desk. We are resuming. No chrono break then. We're just going as is. That means that X we are back for waiting so patiently. It's a hard one as well because the ball disappeared in the wall, but Dexter, as you said, the cone splash damage, <laughs> it hit. I am kind of curious at the desk though, right? Because they're like, there's no diffy in the jiffy, but they think it was just a bad draft. So is it contrasting in the staff? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> there the wasn't even staff up. messed up, you know? There's no, di there's a Say it again. no jungle diffy, so there's no diffy in the jiffy. Yeah. It's contrasting in the staff. Yeah, it just sounds, it sounds a little bit wrong. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you know, that is the craziest thing you've ever said on cast. Definitely getting towards the end of the split. Window. Yeah, Swirl Seed reveals the, them for two seconds. Look, I'm looking at it right now. It weekend, detonates right? upon hitting enemy or terrain. Been our final one. Uh, a bit of stakes for you where G2 are at. Not outside the fact that they secure first with this win, but more so the fact that they are in control. It's a 3k plus gold lead. They are on soul point. Four minutes 30. Secure that oh. if they so choose. Cat so, trouble, makes sense. No shenanigans there. Relevant, but he pops back. Titanic Hydra is a big threat. He will not stand in the face of this Jax any longer. SK. They need something in this game. They got the five void grubs, but... Is there a limit to how many pauses you can get in a game? I don't think so, but they will penalize you if it's you're up to some shenanigans. Jerky's Minion! Thanks again for your subs, and also your gift subs when you give those out. Thank you. I shall not be the only sub in this chat. We shall start a hype train for bangers only. Do you hear me, chat? Jerky's Minion, really. He's giving out 20 subs! Holy fuck! Damn, thank you. That's extremely generous of you. Jerky's Minion, always the ghost. Holy shit. Thanks you so much. Thank you, thank you. I think you guys should follow Jerky, Jerky's Minion's lead.
He's so generous, guys. You can be 120th as generous as Jerky's minion. <laughs> Got home from working out. Nice. Very good. A little bit too sore to work out today. Back on the grind tomorrow, though. <laughs> Baby food money, yes. <laughs> Not everybody has money, Monty. I made mine underwater welding. You must make a lot of money, dude. I've heard that's extremely profitable, by the way. Also very dangerous, so stay safe, man. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sick job, though. That's a sick job. I've heard, I've heard really cool things about that job. I retired after 12 years. Holy moly. Were you were you like in a Navy before that? I heard a lot of people like get out of the Navy with uh, with like underwater training like that and then go into the private business and you can just make a killing. I uh, chase down here is just crazy. I don't know about this engage, guys, from Irrelevant and Das. G2's composition, if you overextend, like, the punish is so severe. Yzma also takes a huge amount of da damage from Aphelios right up front. So he really can't do anything. I have to use the cleanse immediately for Exa Kick. He goes down. It's a desperation engage. I got into it due to my uncle who was already into it on oil rig platform in Norway. And my main lead was welding and had underwater welding training before. Man, that's great. Good for you, man. And thank you very much for your generosity. Must be cold as fuck underwater welding in Norway. <laughs> Poor Mickey. Doesn't get bailed out because Niski somehow lives. It's so desperate, guys. I mean, you already see both TPs channeling. They read this place so far in advance because of the pink war, like all the war coverage that they have around here. And so they just come out, pop out immediately. Hansama just playing beyond vision, getting, fr you know, chunking Yzma down so far before this fight can really even ever begin. Shobes, thank you. Holy shit, you guys. So generous today. Shobes, 25. Holy moly. Goddamn, guys. Rodell, thank you. You guys are so, ge so generous today. Wow, really appreciate it, guys. It's very, very generous. <laughs> Those Greenland sharks are really dreadful when they sneak up on you. <laughs> well, at least they pay you well for it. <laughs> and do we have a bit of 30 subs? <laughs> Calm down there, guys. Calm down there. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll clear object thank you Shobes thank you for another gift sub thanks guys very nice of you it's been, it's been really fun streaming the past couple of weeks it's been a good time
You do not win this pushing battle. Isma still hasn't backed away. And all this guy's is getting plowed into uh, is getting plowed into making this stream better. Um, so I've got a lot of new emotes, graphical assets that should make things more fun for you guys. They're all going to be coming in the next couple of weeks, so you can look forward to that. This stream is going to be upgraded significantly, and having that uh, having that is is very helpful. Soon Monty stream production costs will be higher than that of the LEC, the dream man. I need seven TV. Okay. Sorry, I don't have all the emotes in. I'm a boomer streamer, guys. <laughs> also keeping you coming when I'm being a workaholic at 2 a.m. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Shobes. You've been here all, most of the days. Great. Just a million hype trains. Sorry. Couldn't quite get across the finish line. G2 have to see now if they can win this game. Not at all annoying. And if once more, they can be the top dog when it comes to the European League of Legends. <laughs> you can put, dude. I have the OGN TSM emote Azure Catalyst. I have that one. Look, it's in there. It's in my emotes. <laughs> all right, fine. Here you go. You can be modded. You're in here all the time. You guys who are here all the time, you could all be modded. Mods for everybody. Do appreciate your help with the modding stuff. With the way things are going at the moment, he is so damn strong. You you've all proven yourself trustworthy. <laughs> There's very little left in this game for SK. They are holding on by a thread, and that thread is dwindling with Baron Time taking down with Elder Dragon. After that as well. Eric uh, one zero one one zero one one zero one one zero one. Thank you for your Twitch Prime and your binary. <laughs> Which probably is a curse word of some kind, so I probably just said something that will get me cancelled. In the eighty carry, but look at jungle. Yike is up three and a half thousand gold when he checks out his map. I mean, don't forget Yike. I'm not one to be trusted with power. Apparently you are. <laughs> This yep. combo of Leandri's and uh, Riftmaker is disgustingly strong, but now you're getting to see what Yike can do, and it definitely loves <laughs> Alexander V1992. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for the gift sub. <laughs> guys are very generous today, very generous. Get vision control in this top side, push in waves, and then look to burst down Baron incredibly quick with everything that they have at the moment. You can see Cap trying to sync up one wave in the bottom side as well. He's got teleport if he needs. But G2 at this point is so strong, maybe a 4 versus 5 is even easier. And Dot runs in with a quick <laughs> Oh my god, look how fast Yike is on this Lilia after he casts ultimate. It's so disgusting. No. L this is illegal Lilia. Oh my god. Towards the base, and they will march their way to victory. It's their first place lock in. Was it Korea they got that magnet train? Uh, they do have high speed trains in Korea, the KTX. They do. Level 9 hype train, goddamn. Cheers from Peru. Ah, oh, man, I really want to go to Lima. By the way, that's one of my top places I want to go. The food scene is just popping off down there recently, and I want to go see uh, all the Incan sites. I'm going to get down there, man. I'm going to get down there at some point. 